drive some of those storage areas for stormwater uh, detention that we have to factor in. Again, a little blow up of those areas to show you the back of the Nielsen, the improvements to the pool, the clubhouse facility that represents golf, pool, uh, food service, uh, utilities, and what have you. This could still be a two-story facility with banquet facilities on the second floor. The uh, stormwater detention, nice little design on that back in here, a burned or heavily burned area to, to, to use a sound attenuation from the golf course and the ball fields. Still need to have our, our uh, net for uh, keeping the air balls out of the baseball areas, but we've lost the, the um, driving range and moved that further south. Here's a nice view of it, <coughs> excuse me, looking we can do the north off of that ceremonial drive, the pool facility, pool with uh, a full-size lap area, swimming area, a zero-depth pool, kiddie pool, and a diving bell, outdoor eating uh, venue with tables, chairs, umbrellas, what have you in this space, and plenty of circulation space around the pool, access via controlled gate to the playground area, and then out to concessions and restrooms out in the center of the open recreation area. Here's the small detention storage area and then that burn which used to be the old sledding hill kind of molds and shapes this whole space. The foreground here is service, uh, food service, uh, uh, equipment, locker rooms and everything integrated into this area and then the golf facility immediately to the uh, left here on the drawing, a two-story facility, main entrance, uh, would have a, a, a pro shop and all the amenities that it has today in addition to a separated uh, banquet space perhaps on the second floor. Here is the existing uh, panel hut, uh, obviously raised off the ground with the rest of the courts, integrated skate park, basketball, and the el new elevated edge of Nielsen, which really has the, the presence now of a rec center off the back side, not just the back end of a tennis indoor tennis court, circulation and proximate parking all around this space. And then to the south, the improved uh, nine-hole golf course. Views from the north, uh, northeast, <coughs> excuse me, northwest, southwest, southeast. And real quickly, as we kind of conclude here, the idea of utilizing that landfill has come up in our discussions and our thoughts from time to time. This is the existing landfill configuration and a lot of steep grades that occur around that area. Access is tricky. Right now on this lower platform is where the uh, Park District is going to put one of their service facilities back in this area. The upper level terrace is currently being used for car storage right now for, I believe, the Land Rover folks. Uh, but the idea is to somehow over time integrate some more service facilities in here, but also provide a means of access and circulation whereby this upper plateau, as it's uh, graded out in a more final configuration uh, after the uh, capped landfill is secure, we'll be able to use that and to really show what we can get on there. In this particular instance, we're showing two full-size soccer fields on top of that space. Obviously, pedestrian circulation or switchback access up to that space, and perhaps the idea in wintertime of using it for a sledding hill or some sort of winter venue for that space. And while this isn't a hurry up, let's get it done in the run through, it could be a five, ten year plan. Let's put it in there. Let's think about how it integrates to the north with the rest of our recreational areas and, and get a good handle on developing it for the future. Okay, these are just uh, reminders. I think Lise is going to share with you just a, a few of her thoughts as we conclude right here. But again, any thoughts on our discussion today, our, our uh, presentation, the things that you see in the community facilities, the boards and ideas, please give us your thoughts, your ideas. Give us a call. We'll meet with you. We'll, we'll agree with you. Uh, look us up on, uh, on, on uh, windpark.org and uh, get your, your thoughts into us. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. On behalf of the Park District, I really want to thank Scott and uh, Team Lakota. They have put many, many, many hours into these plans, and they've talked with many, many of you residents. And uh, from our perspective, what's most important is now we have all of these great concept ideas. What we are really doing is, is exhausting all of our resources to get feedback from you, our residents. Skokie Playfield is one of the premier parks in Winnetka, and it's critical to us that we get as much feedback as is possible. So I think we've reviewed pretty much every option that's available to you, and we really do want your 
feedback. So please log on to our website for more information. Um, and we will be having one more community workshop to gather some feedback. As soon as we've got that date secure, we will uh, email blast the community to let you know where and when that will take place. And we'll continue to keep you abreast of uh, the conclusion or the, the steps moving forward to a final uh, Skokie Playfield Master Plan. So uh, thank you for your feedback. And thank you, Scott.